Hi everybody, it's uh, Dr Biology here and this video is for AQA GCSE Combined Science and it's the chemistry paper, the higher tier chemistry paper and it's the advanced material for 2022. So the things you need to know, so let's have a look. Right, first of all, okay, so this is from AQA and as you can see they're saying, uh, this is your exam board, saying that the format and structures of the papers remain unchanged. So if you look at any past papers in the uh, from previous years, they'll be ex uh, pretty much the same format. Um, for each paper there is a list, and I'll show you the list, that shows the major focus of the content of the exam. So it's not, they're not showing it in rank order, they're just showing what the major focus is. And for you, what that means is, is where the most marks are. Each paper can cover some or all of the content in the listed topic. So um, obviously the major focus topics, there, there might be some, there might be a lot. Um, topics not assessed, either directly or through linked content, have also been listed and unfortunately I'm going to show you in chemistry that's not a lot. Um, the information is presented in spec order and I'll talk about what specification order is and not in question order and you're still going to be assessed on all those things like the math skills, so percentage changes, um, all your kind of formulae that you would use in chemistry. Working scientifically skills as well will occur particularly when they talk about required practicals. And they say it is not permitted to take this advanced information into the exam. I don't know why you would want to. Um, advice. So this is advice from AQA. Um, so this is advice to the teachers really. So you, your teachers hopefully have still covered the entire subject content. Um, also topics not talked about in the major focus may appear in low tariff questions or via linked questions so that means just lower marks there'll be less marks for those topics um, so you still need to revise all of it really um, and you will ex be expected to apply their knowledge to unfamiliar contexts so they talk about spec code so um, if you were to type in this or just type in google aqa combined science specification this would come up and you can download this this is like the teacher bible you could use it if you if your if your teachers haven't given you a checklist you could use this as a checklist so if i show you inside you can see all the content of combined science biology chemistry that's the bit we're interested in today and physics so it shows all the things in there Okay, and then it's split up. So this is what I mean by specification code. So 5.7 is organic chemistry. And if we, we split it even further, so 5.7.1 is carbon compounds as fuels and feedstock. And then it separates it even further into another hierarchical um, code. So there we go. Right, let's look at um, paper one. So as you can see on the left hand side I've got all the paper one topics there. The major focus ones are in green okay so you'll see immediately that it is very kind of targeted towards things like chemical changes and energy changes because they're all the major focus and you've got three required practicals in there as well. So things like 5.1 atomic structure and periodic table Okay, even though it's not a major focus, it could be there. And I'll be honest, talking to a chemistry teacher, I think this is quite an important topic, 5.1, for your general understanding of chemistry. Bonding of structures, so related to properties of substances is important. Quantitative chemistry, the use and amount of substances in relation to masses of, or, of pure substances, and then the whole of chemical changes and energy changes. There is no topics that will not be assessed in paper one. And I'll say that again, they expect you to know the whole of paper one. Okay, paper two. So again, you can see there's a real uh, concentration here of major focus on the rate and extent of chemical change. So rates of reaction, reversible and dynamic equilibrium. And you can see that's the required practical there. Organic chemistry, very important in this exam. Chemical analysis. Now notice, the only topic not assessed, and you don't have to revise it, 
is the identification of common gases, but you do need to know about chromatography. Okay, then chemistry of the atmosphere, so particularly the evolution of Earth's atmosphere and using resources, potable water. So unfortunately, guys, if you're doing higher tier, combined science, chemistry, you're going to have to know most of it pretty much. Um, but that does help in terms of the major focus, knowing where most of the marks will be. So I've got some takeaway advice here for you. So um, very few topics are removed, so you'll need to learn all, not just the major focus. Chemistry topics are linked. That's probably why they haven't removed anything. So before we go about uh, complaining, it's, it's just that everything is linked in chemistry. Learn key terms. I would say that for all your science exams. Common topic areas are assessed year after year by the exam board. So please go over past paper exam questions um, that your teachers give you, hopefully, in your revision. You should have a good understanding of the electron arrangement of atoms and how this relates to reactivity trends and the number and type of bonds that elements form. So even though it's not a major focus, it does come up time and again in different topics of chemistry. You should be able to confidently, confident, blah, blah, confidently identify the bonding types and those aiming to achieve a five can explain the properties of structures using their knowledge. So there's some takeaway advice for you. OK, so I hope you found that useful. Um, I'm going to also do this. I've done this for biology. Check out my video for biology higher tier. And also I'm going to do one for physics. Good luck with your GCSEs. Keep at it and you'll get there. I'm pretty sure of it. See you soon.